Yeah. Now we learn about question words in Bahasa Indonesia. In Bahasa Indonesia, it is called kata tanya. Kata tanya. Kata yang dipakai untuk bertanya. The words that we use to ask. Okay. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight usually. Commonly there are seven, but the additional is the phrase how many and how much. Okay, so berapa jumlah and berapa harga. Okay, we 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 start from ke mana or di mana. Ke mana, ke mana, <coughs> ke mana and di mana. Ke mana means that uh, the purpose of going to. Okay, but di mana means. The location, the place of uh, of uh, a good or a stuff or uh, uh, something. So kemana means a trans the transfer that the transfer of going to. Okay, kemana. But in English, it is uh, they are translated only in one word, where. Okay, kemana or di mana. For example, okay. The examples of sentences using these question words, I will give the examples later on after I uh, I explain uh, a little bit about how to pronounce those words. Okay, kemana where di mana where yang mana yang mana means in English which. Okay. Siapa, siapa, this is talking about the subject, yeah? When we ask about the subject, we use siapa, who. But when we ask about object, kepada siapa, to whom or whom, yeah? Siapa, uh, this word uh, asks about the subject, who. But this phrase, kepada siapa, is used for uh, asking the object, whom, okay, or to whom. And then, milik siapa, milik siapa means whose, alright? Mengapa or kenapa, they have similar meaning, but in different word. Yeah, mengapa and kemana? Yeah, both of them are uh, formal, but in English only why. Okay, in Bahasa Indonesia or Indonesian language, mengapa or kenapa? And then bagaimana? Bagaimana is translated into how? How? Okay. Berapa? If we ask about uh, Countable noun, berapa jumlah? We use how many, but if we ask about uh, price, we say how much, how much money. Okay, let's run from, let's start from the beginning. Ke mana, where, di mana, where. The difference is between ke mana and di mana. Ke mana means the transfer of going to. Where are we going to? But di mana? Where is the okay, the location or the place to put something? The second is yang mana, which, siapa, who, kepada siapa, whom, milik siapa, whose, mengapa or kenapa, why, bagaimana, bagaimana, how, berapa jumlah, how many. Berapa harga, how much? Okay, so after this video, I will uh, I will add the examples. So this is the topic of question word, and for the examples of using these words, these words or phrase, I will make a new video later on. So thank you. I'm gonna want I do hope this topic will be useful for you. Time. Now we continue for the examples of each question word. Kita mulai, we begin from siapa, who, yeah, 
we use siapa for asking about the subject yeah it is like in english who okay informal we use sometimes yeah this is very uh, i mean uh, this is very useful for us because sometimes you know they like we talk uh, informally and formally so this is daily conversation with best friends or with best mates so this is the uh, formal situation we use for a higher uh, I mean the, the people who is older than we are or when we are in a formal situation like in an office or in a meeting like that okay so we begin from informal Siapa sih perempuan itu? Siapa sih? Okay, we use in Indonesia. Sometimes we use particle C. C. This like to stress the question. C. It means like uh, we talk to a friend. Okay. C. Particle. We use particle C or additional C in front of siapa? Siapa sih? Means like to stress the question. Siapa sih perempuan itu? Siapa nama lu? Remember, lu is the informal uh, saying to call you. Lu, yeah. So lu is a word. Uh, is translated into you. Lu is used in informal, in very informal situation when we talk with a closer friend close friends or we talk to our younger brother younger sister our close mates okay so number one siapa sih perempuan itu is translated into who is that woman and then siapa nama lu we translate into what is your name okay in bahasa indonesia informal situation siapakah nama siapakah perempuan itu or we use here Siapakah nama perempuan itu? Who is the name? Or what is the name of the woman? Or who is the woman? Siapa nama anda? What is your name? So in English, it is the same. Okay, so there is no informal or formal. Yeah, as I can uh, know, as I as I know. Yeah, in English, you is you. But in Bahasa Indonesia, there is gua, saya, aku, for subject I. But in, uh, in English, they are translated it into only I. For example, you in Bahasa Indonesia, there is kamu, engkau, anda, kau. So there are four words, engkau, kau, kamu, anda. So it depends on the situation or to whom we talk to. Okay? But in Bahasa Indonesia, they uh, the words or those words are translated into you only you, okay. So uh, be careful or pay attention for using uh, the subject of I. I is translated into Bahasa Indonesia kam uh, saya, aku, diriku, yeah. You is translated into kau, engkau, kamu, anda. Yeah. So uh, that depends on the situation or the, the the people or the person whom we talk to. Okay. Yeah. So this is the example of using the word siapa. So siapa is used for asking about the subject. Okay. So siapa sih perempuan itu? Who is that woman? Siapa nama lu? What is your name? Siapa siapa perempuan itu? Siapakah perempuan itu? Siapa nama anda? So this this is uh, used for informal situation and this is used for a formal situation and then because we find here lu that is very informal subject for you lu and then this is we group into informal and this is the formal one siapa nama anda all right so i do hope these examples will make you understand more about the using of siapa so 
I'll meet you next uh, with other examples of the using question word. Okay, thank you so much. I'm here to the examples of using the word, the question word kepada siapa in English, whom. Okay, we make also informal situation and formal situation. Number one, ke siapa kamu kasih uangnya? Ke siapa kamu kasih uangnya? Ke siapa kamu kasih uangnya? Okay. Whom did you give the money? To whom? Or we we used to hear. To whom did you give the money? Okay. Number two. Ke siapa kamu telefon? Yeah. Telefon is a uh, I mean the construction of telephone, but in in Bahasa Inggris we shorten is telefon. So ke siapa kamu telefon? Whom are you calling? Whom are you calling? Okay, so usually kamu, kamu and kamu or lu is used for informal situation because we talk to a best friend or we talk to the person who is, who is younger than we are. Okay, okay. In informal situation, we I I use different sentences. Kepada siapa kita akan memberikan paket ini? Ke pada siapa kita akan memberikan paket ini? Kepada siapa kita akan memberikan paket ini? Whom will deliver this package? Ya, yeah. whom will we? Sorry, whom will we deliver? Whom will we? Whom will we deliver this package? Kepada siapa kita akan akan is the same in the future we use auxiliary will in bahasa Inggris in bahasa Indonesia we use the word akan it means future present future kepada siapa kita akan memberikan paket ini whom will we deliver this package okay whom will we send this package Second, kepada siapa saya menyerahkan surat ini? Kepada siapa? Kepada siapa saya menyerahkan surat ini? Kepada siapa saya menyerahkan surat ini? Whom should I send this letter? Ya. Yeah. Whom should I submit this letter? Whom should I mail this letter? Whom should I send this letter? Okay, so we start from the, the informal. Ke siapa kamu kasih uangnya? Whom did you give the money? The second, kepada siapa kamu telepon? Whom are you calling? The informal situation number one, kepada siapa kita akan menyerahkan paket ini? Atau memberikan paket ini Whom will we deliver this package? Whom will we send this? Yeah, send, deliver, distribute Yeah, that's the same verb Yeah, they are the same meaning Whom will we distribute this package? Whom will we send this package? Whom will we deliver this package? Second, kepada siapa saya menyerahkan surat ini? Whom should I hand in this letter? Whom should I, uh, whom should I hand, hand out this letter? Whom should I send this letter? Whom should I deliver this letter? Okay, so I do hope these, these or those examples will make you understand more how to use the question word kepada siapa kepada siapa is used for asking object okay so i'm gonna want to answer you i'll see you next with the examples of others question words thank you yeah now we continue to the using of question word punya siapa or milik siapa milik siapa or punya siapa they are translated into whose in english Okay, we start from the informal uh, examples. 
punya siapa ini? Punya siapa ini? Punya siapa ini? Punya siapa ini? Who's is this? Who's is this? Second jepu buku siapa ni? Ni. This is a signal for uh, informal expression for using ni. Ni particle ni is using in daily colloquial uh, expression to stress the question. Buku siapa ni? Whose book is this? Whose book is this? Buku siapa ni? Buku siapa ni? Whose book is this? For formal expression, for formal situation, examples number one, milik siap, milik siapakah kamus ini? Milik siapakah kamus ini? Okay, let me tell you something. Ka, ka, uh, suffix ka, uh, we can omit uh, this uh, suffix. We can say milik siapa kamus ini or milik siapakah kamus ini. So, the suffix ka is not very important. But if we use ka, means that uh, it is uh, formal. Yeah? Okay. Milik siapakah kamus ini or milik siapa kamus ini. Yeah? Whose dictionary is this? Whose dictionary is this? Yeah. Milik siapakah kamus ini? Whose dictionary is this? Rumah siapa yang besar itu? Rumah siapa yang besar itu? Rumah siapa yang besar itu? Whose house is the big one? Whose house is the big one? So let me repeat from the beginning. Punya siapa ini means whose who is this? Buku siapa ini? Whose book is this? For formal, milik siapakah kamus ini? Whose dictionary is this? Rumah siapa yang besar itu? Whose house is the big one? All right. So I do hope this topic will be helpful for you, and you can practice at home. And you can practice directly to your friends who comes from Indonesia. So I'm Gunawan Tanggung Saru. Thank you so much for your attention. Bye. Yeah, we continue to the question word of yang mana is translated into English which. Okay. So yeah, number one, we start from the informal examples. Yang mana punya lu? Yang mana punya lu? Ya, yang mana milik lu, yang mana punya lu, punya is a base base verb from mempunyai have. Oke, okay. own ya memiliki. Yang mana punya lu? Which one is yours? So milikmu or punyamu in possessive pronoun is using yours. Oke. Okay. Milikku, punyaku is translated into mine. So, yang mana punya lu? Which one is yours? Ya. Yeah. Second, yang mana bukumu? Which one is your book? Ya. Yeah. Which one is your book? Yang mana bukumu? So, bukumu mu is a possessive pronoun from uh, in English your your book bukumu. Ya. Yeah. So there is no any space here because mu, prefix mu, uh, is used for a possessive pronoun. Okay, yeah. For formal situation, number one, kemeja yang mana yang kamu pilih? Kemeja mana yang anda pilih? Kemeja mana yang kamu pilih? Which shirt do you choose? Okay, kemeja ma yang mana? yang kamu pilih kemeja yang mana yang kamu pilih which shirt do you choose second for formal situation yang mana kah pilihan anda which one is your choice yang mana kah pilihan anda oke okay, let's start from the beginning yang mana punya lu yang mana punya lu which one is yours yang mana bukumu? Yang mana bukumu? 
Which one is your book? Which one is your book? Kemeja yang mana yang anda pilih? Kemeja mana yang kamu pilih? Which shirt do you choose? Yang manakah pilihan anda? Yang manakah pilihan anda? Which one is your choice? Okay, so I do hope this topic will be helpful for you to understand more about the conversation while native speaker of Indonesian language using this question. So I'm gonna want Tamun Saribu, thank you so much, goodbye. Yeah, now we continue to the examples of using question word kenapa or mengapa. So kenapa and mengapa, those two words are the same. Yeah, they can uh, they can be used in informal or informal situation. Okay, uh, we start from the examples of informal. Kenapa lu telat? Kenapa lu telat? Come on. Kenapa lu telat? Kenapa lu telat? Why are you late? Why are you late? The second, kenapa dia marah? Kenapa dia marah? Kenapa dia marah? Why is she angry? Yeah, we continue to formal expressions. Mengapa anda mengundurkan diri? Mengapa anda mengundurkan diri? Mengapa anda mengundurkan diri? Mengapa anda mengundurkan diri? Why do you resign? Why do you resign? Second, kenapa anda kelihatan sedih? Kenapa anda kelihatan sedih? Kenapa anda kelihatan sedih? Why do you look so sad? Why do you look so sad? Why do you look so sad? Okay, we repeat from number one <coughs> for informal expression. Kenapa lu telat? Yeah, remember, lu is the same with you. Okay, lu, the very informal for the pronoun you, yeah. Kenapa lu telat? Kenapa dia marah? Okay. Why are you late? Why is she or he angry? Dia is on a... It is used for a she or a he. So it refers to a man or a woman, a girl or a boy. Okay. Kenapa dia marah? Why is she or he angry? Mengapa anda mengundurkan diri? Why do you resign? Kenapa anda kelihatan sedih? Why do you look so sad? Why do you look so sad? Okay, yeah, please practice at home to make your thumb be fluently in speaking or in using this question. Right. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Due to the examples of using the question word kemana or dimana. In English, they, these two words is translated or translated into where. Okay. Let me repeat. Dimana is the transfer of, okay, the location of a something, but kemana means the transfer of going. Yeah, okay. So this is these are the examples. Number one, mau kemana lu? So in English, in Bahasa Indonesia, lu, I repeat, lu is a very informal translation to the word you. Yeah, because you is translated into four words in Bahasa Indonesia. There is you, eh, no, kamu, engkau, lu, anda. Anda is very formal. Yeah. So lu is used in daily conversation with our best friend. Mau kemana lu? Mau kemana lu? Mau kemana lu? Mau kemana lu? Okay. It's usually rising intonation at the end mau kemana lu where will you go where will you go where will you go okay di mana lu taruh tasmu 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 taro is a slang word or a shortened word from taruh or meletakkan Okay. Taro, taro means 
uh, slang word for uh, formal word taruh letakkan menaruh menletakkan ya di mana lu taruh tasmu where did you put your bag where did you put your bag oke okay. the second is for formal situation number one kemana mereka pergi kemana mereka pergi kemana mereka pergi ya yeah. where do they go where do they go Oke, okay, number two, di mana Susi menyimpan berkas-berkasnya? So, if there is a reputation of a noun, this is means countable noun, ya, yeah, plural noun, so berkas-berkasnya. For example, a book, buku, buku-buku, books, ya. Yeah. So, if you find repetition like this, it means the plural form of the noun. Ya, yeah, so this is berkas-berkasnya uh, translated into her files because the file is more than one. Oke, okay. di mana Susi menyimpan berkas-berkasnya? Where did Susi keep the files? Where did Susi keep the files? Oke, okay. so I do hope this example will uh, make you more understand understand more about the using of the question word di mana and ke mana so i'm gonna want to do thank you so much and i will see you next week other examples of using another or others question word thank you continue to the using of the question word bagaimana in english how okay we start from the informal expression gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu for the prefix nge ya yeah, see my explanation watch my video about the prefix for informal verb ya yeah. nge nge ngebuka it's derived from membuka so mem usually replaced by nge if we uh, talk with our best friends or our mate at home ya yeah. nge okay. gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu gimana gimana it is derived from bagaimana so gimana is used for informal situation gimana gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu how did you open the door how did you open the door the second gimana kabarmu gimana kabarmu remember gimana is a short term from bagaimana and gimana is used for informal situation gimana kabarmu how are you how are you okay the second for formal situation bagaimana kabar ibu anda bagaimana kabar ibu anda how is your mother how is your mother bagaimana kabar ibu anda okay bagaimana Bagaimana kabar ibu anda? Bagaimana kabar ibu anda? Bagaimana kabar ibu anda? Bagaimana kabar ibu anda? How is your mother? The second is Bagaimana anda bisa melakukan hal itu? Bagaimana anda bisa melakukan hal itu? Bagaimana anda bisa melakukan hal itu? How can you do that? 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 Okay. So, yeah, let's start from the informal expression. Gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu? Gimana cara lu ngebuka pintu itu? How can you open the door? How can you open the door? Gimana kabarmu? How are you? How are you? The second for informal expression, bagaimana kabar ibu anda? Bagaimana kabar ibu anda? How is your mother? How is your mother? Bagaimana anda bisa melakukan hal itu? Bagaimana anda bisa melakukan hal itu? How can you do that? How can you do that? Okay, so I do hope these examples uh, can make you understand more about the using of question word bagaimana in Bahasa Indonesia. Please practice at home with your friends who come from Indonesia or you can practice in front of your mirror. So I'm gonna want to thank you so much and I'll see you next week on a topic. Goodbye. In Bahasa Indonesia, 
So the last one is how many or how much. Yeah, to ask about noun. Yeah, if we ask about uh, in English, there are uh, uh, a big difference between how many and how much. But in Bahasa Indonesia or Indonesian language, there is no any difference. Berapa banyak? Berapa banyak is followed by the name of the noun. Berapa banyak duit? Berapa banyak buku? So there is no any difference between countable or uncountable noun. So we use only berapa banyak. So it depends on the noun followed by berapa banyak. Okay. So the informal examples is uh, our number one. Berapa banyak pulpen lu? Berapa banyak pulpen lu? Berapa banyak pulpen lu? Pulpen is the noun. So this is pen. How many pens? So if we translate into English, we use how many because pulpen is uncountable noun. So we use how many pens do you have? Not how much pen. Yeah. Okay. The second, berapa lu beli kaos itu? Berapa lu beli kaos ini? Berapa lu beli kaos ini? Berapa means berapa banyak uang. So if we use only berapa lu beli kaos ini, if we use this for uh, ask about price in Bahasa Indonesia, so in English we use how much. How much money or how much? Okay. Berapa lu beli kaos ini? Berapa lu beli kaos ini means that how much money do you did you buy this T-shirt? Yeah. Okay. For formal expression, berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda? Berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda? Berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda? Berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda how many employees are there in your office how many employees are there in your office okay the second for in for formal situation berapa banyak uang yang anda butuhkan berapa banyak uang yang anda butuhkan berapa banyak uang yang anda butuhkan how much money do you need Okay, let's start from the informal expressions. Berapa banyak pulpen lu? Berapa banyak pulpen lu? How many pens do you have? The second, berapa lu beli kaos ini? Berapa lu beli kaos ini? How much did you buy this t-shirt? For formal situation number one, berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda? Berapa banyak karyawan di kantor anda? How many employees are there in your office? The last, berapa banyak uang yang anda butuhkan? Berapa banyak uang yang anda butuhkan? How much money do you need? Okay, so this is the end of making examples of using question words in Bahasa Indonesia. Please practice more at home so that you can train or you can train your tongue to speak fluently by using Bahasa Indonesia or Indonesian language. I'm Gunawan Tamun Sadibu. I'll see you next time with another topic. Goodbye.